Omar Nur al-Din is the vice president of the Muslim Public Affairs Council. It opposes the travel ban, and he joins us tonight. Um, so it seems like the, the travel ban, as first envisioned, has been pared down uh, by the Supreme Court. But it seems like it's getting pretty hard to argue that it's radical or it's excluding all Muslims or it's racist. I mean, what exactly is wrong with this, uh, with this law at this point? Well, you know, Tucker, I think the point is that this is this ban was made in the interest of national security. But as we've seen by the way in which it's been revised and continued to be changed, that this isn't really about national security. This is about the president trying to make good on a campaign promise to, quote, make a complete shutdown of Muslims entering this country. So this is really about politics and not national security policy making. Well, I mean, leaving aside the question of how you could know the president's motives or know what it's really about, well, none of us, of course, does know that. If that is, in fact, the intent, not doing a very good job because, I mean, the largest Muslim countries in the world are not included in this. It's restricted to the six countries that the Obama administration designated as likely sources of terrorism. So how is this a Muslim well, I, th I think that, I, I mean, I agree with you that the president isn't doing a good job here at trying to make good national security policy. No, and what's the your point? I mean, I don't really you know, get your point. He's trying to ban all to Muslims, but he's not really trying policy. to ban all Muslims? Okay, but hold on. You just said he, what he really wants to is ban all Muslims. Okay. Then why isn't he banning no, Malaysians, Egyptians? No, I didn't say he wanted Egyptians? to ban all Muslims. Oh, what are I you said saying? that he's trying to make good on a campaign promise. Whether he's actually making good on that campaign promise or not, you know, that's going to be up to his supporters and those who voted for him to say that. But, you know, it'd be naive to say that this, take, an, take this out of the context of what he said on the campaign, which was well, to shut down the immigration of Muslims. Well, how about putting it into the context that Muslims. it obviously falls into? These are six countries the previous administration designated as dangerous. So do you think that well, the you know, Obama today, people were wrong Philip to Bum say from that? from the Washington Post did a, uh, an analysis of if this ban had been in effect over the last 20 years, would it have saved any lives from terrorism? And the answer wait, is wait, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. your previous you're, guest from okay, the Cato just, Institute... First, first all, any sentence that begins Philip Bump from the Washington Post immediately is discredited, A. B, you didn't answer no, the question not. I asked, Tucker, which you have is, to look wait, at the on, facts. Sorry. Which look is at, the question. Look at, the look question, at his facts. Okay, so, slow down. Your the previous, question I asked, your previous, on, the question your I asked, guest, and I hope you'll answer it, is on, do you think the Obama the Cato administration... Institute did a similar right, analysis right, I, I get it. But from you're, you're not answering my question or even attempting to. Do you think the Obama people were wrong to say that these are six dangerous countries? Now, these are six countries that do have poor infrastructure. Oh. But the, if we're saying that this needs what do you mean, to like have bad bridges, about or what does national that mean? security... No, hold on. What do you mean, bad infrastructure? It mean, it means that they have a poor infrastructure, weak central governments, and people that are leaving, especially refugees that are leaving these countries, are coming here because they're desperate to live, Tucker. No, they're but not that's not the Obama people didn't say die. that they need new freeway off-ramps or light rail. They didn't say they had bad infrastructure. They said they're dangerous. There are a lot of crazy people there who want to hurt us. That's what they said. Were they wrong? They have bad infrastructure in the sense that their central governments are weak. Okay, but lots of countries have weak central governments and bad infrastructure and probably could use a superhighway or two, and they're not a threat to us. I'm not These talking about highway sucker. With I'm a lot talking of about the systems in, in place to make procedures. But okay. the fact is, is that people from these countries are not coming here because they want to die, and that the president is saying well, that these we need to ban people here. from these countries okay. Let me just to ask come you, here. They're really coming quick. here because they want opportunities. Okay, maybe they, maybe, the maybe they are, maybe they're not. I mean, I don't all, even think that you know here. their. Well, slow down. I don't think you know their names, so it's sort of hard to generalize about what they want. I don't know their names either. But really quickly, why does the United States benefit from having tons of people from, say, Somalia, a failed state with lots of terror, come here? How do we benefit from that? Why is that a good thing for us? Tucker, immigrants are an, are an integral part of our economy. From Somalia? Refugees. America has, America has moral standing in the world because of its compassion for So we don't have moral standing unless we let in lots of Somalis? Countries. No, it's not that we don't have, unless we do that. This is part of our compassion, right, as Americans, to bringing the most vulnerable from around the world, yeah. as other countries do as well. And I by we saying that we're going to ban people from citizens. these countries, we're losing our moral standing. And and at the yeah. end of the day, it's not I'm not losing my moral policy. standing, Omar. I, if, I, if I can just, I'll speak for myself. I, I don't think my moral standing takes a hit because I'm worried about Somali immigrants. That's just me. Call me shallow. Thanks for joining us.